Hi, everybody. Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com. We've got a college football game to digest from this weekend's huge slate as Auburn hosts Cal in a uh, non-conference game for both, but a rematch of a game they played last year, Cal's final season in the Pac-12. And now they better get used to traveling cross-country because they've got a host of ACC games. Uh, they will play a number of times on the East Coast. They play at Florida State. They play at Pittsburgh. Uh, and they play at Wake Forest on, on the East Coast after this one. And uh, this was a game that Cal let get away last season as uh, they shut down Peyton Thorne and led 10-7 to into the fourth quarter before Cal rallied for a 14-10 to win. Both teams ended up 6-7, and but this is a, uh, a matchup of an offensive coach in Hugh Freeze against a defensive guru in Justin Wilcox, and they'll meet again on the Plains at Jordan-Hare Stadium, War Eagle and all that good stuff as the Tigers uh, look to improve to 2-0 and on the season, and Cal looks to do the same. Auburn destroyed Alabama A&M. Cal comes off a victory over UC Davis. And a lot of the same players that uh, basically butted heads last season will again be a part of this one. Auburn is a 13 and a half point favorite with the total set at 53 and a half. And we're going to give you a free play to try and continue our great run on these videos early this season. Hopefully we're not jinxing anything, but it's been a solid start on these vids for me through week zero and week one and we'll look to build on a uh, victory with boston college plus the points as they won outright at florida state we've got a, a video out there for the boise state oregon game uh some nfl stuff out there and obviously all of our other handicappers busy at work bringing you free content you can uh use that information to uh invest any way you like you can ride it you can fade us and uh, try to make some money as uh, we look to get going here and building your bankroll for this college football season. Auburn, uh, really good start for them this season, but Alabama A&M, obviously a pushover, a guarantee game. But what came out of that opener was that Peyton Thorne looked a lot sharper, and uh, he has a lot of new weapons to work with, a lot of uh, true freshmen that have made the Auburn too deep. Uh, first Penn State transfer, Keandre Lambert-Smith stepped up and uh, was the top target. So we'll see if he continues to be that number one receiver. There are really talented freshmen in uh, Cam Coleman, Ma Malcolm Simmons, and Perry Thompson, who will also play uh, at Jordan-Hare this weekend against a really strong Cal secondary. Uh, and that's Justin Wilcox's area of expertise is trying to shut down your passing game. And certainly he was able to do that uh, a year ago against Thorne, uh, and uh, it, it, this was a situation where Thorne was still learning and now is a lot more polished. Uh, he threw for 322 yards and four scores against AM, which found itself down 52 to three by halftime. And uh, Hugh Freeze called off the dogs. Uh, Auburn could have uh, scored 100 if they wanted to in the game. Uh, so they will be fresh in this contest since a lot of their key guys didn't play for more than a half. Top back Jarquez Hunter only got four carries, uh, and the Bears will uh, look to bounce uh, or follow up on a uh, win over, uh, like I said, UC Davis and Jaden Ott uh, will be the bell cow for the Bears once again. Uh, standout running back who was going to be a hit in uh, the uh, transfer market if he really wanted to go somewhere else, opted to stay. And uh, this is a kid that will play in the NFL one day. He had a couple of touchdown runs in the 31-13 win over the UC Davis Aggies. Uh, they got a new offensive coordinator in Mike Blush, who was the uh, run game coordinator last year. So you know that Cal is going to want to run the football on the planes and play defense, try to keep this as low scoring as possible. So if you want to correlate, uh, you can back the under because we're taking the points with Cal. We think that Thorne had an easy time of it against Alabama A&M and now is going to have a dramatically different contest to navigate uh, against a uh, skilled defense uh, in Justin Wilcox-led Cal. And uh, again, the Bears could hit the ground running and make a bowl uh, 
in their maiden voyage in the ACC. It just depends on whether they can uh, navigate the travel well. Uh, they don't play back-to-back -back road games, so that'll certainly help. They've got some tough games with NC State coming in for homecoming. They've got a non-conference game against Oregon State. Uh, but certainly, this is a team that made a bowl last game, uh, last season, uh, making the Independence Bowl and losing to Texas Tech. Now they're looking to uh, get to a bowl win and get to consecutive bowls for the first time since 2018 and 2019. Auburn, second season under freeze. They want to be an SEC contender again. Obviously, won a national championship with Cal uh, Cam Newton under Gus Malzahn way back when. But the program has hit the skids since. And uh, we'll see if Peyton Thorne is the quarterback to rally this group or uh, if uh, there is somebody down the road, potentially on this roster now, that will lead Auburn back to prominence. They had Bo Nix on the roster, didn't work out for him, and then he went to Oregon and did what he did. So uh, Freeze, a gifted offensive coach. I think it'll come together for Auburn, but maybe not this season and certainly not this week, given the youth of their wide receivers and the fact that Thorne still has to prove himself against a solid defense. So take the points with Cal plus 13 and a half. If you want to correlate on the under at 53 and a half, uh, that is uh, something I wouldn't talk you out of. Uh, some numbers that have come in, the over under for Auburn in this game is 33 and a half. I'd have to back the under on that. Uh, Cal's total is at 20 and a half. Uh, the first half total is at 27 and a half. And uh, Cal is getting seven and a half for the first half. These are all fan duel numbers. Uh, and uh, I don't know about touching that first half for Cal because they have to get accumulated to the East Coast and the atmosphere. But I think they've got great backdoor cover potential, getting 13 and a half, and certainly like them holding Auburn under the 33 and a half points. And uh, that would pr probably lead to the under hitting in this game. Again, riding Cal plus 13 and a half. Smash that like button for me. Make sure you're subscribed to all of our videos here at Wager Talk TV so you never miss a play. And follow me on Twitter at Mejia Dinero. Check out my page at sm.buzz slash TDM for free plays and package information. We're going to make some money all season long. NFL season begins on Thursday. Don't forget with that. And we've got plenty of stuff uh, set for you preview-wise and uh, both on the YouTube channel for video previews and with plays and packages ready for Sunday. And obviously Saturday, we'll have you taken care of on the college football end. I'm Tony Mejia. Thanks for watching. Have a profitable weekend and enjoy the football.